and uh, he was hard on himself through the weekend, which was good, and uh, we'll get better this week. Is he trying sometimes to not just take the number one receiver and try to get work his way through just to show he can do that stuff? Well, I mean, I don't think I think he's going through his progressions and he's throwing it to the guy that's open. You know, we, he made one bad decision that that he probably should have thrown it in the second window, and he you know he hit one of their guys right in the heart with it. Luckily, he didn't catch it, and uh, but you know it's because he. He started on the wrong side. Uh, he should have started left and went back right. And so he got there a little quick, which made him pull the trigger a little too quick. So, but we'll, we're working on it this week. What's the thing that impresses you the most about him? His poise. Uh, you know, he, it didn't look like his first game, his confidence. Uh, you know, that's, that's a lot of playing quarterback is believing you can do it. And uh, the kid doesn't lack confidence. And, uh, you know, he looked like he belonged out there, which was good. Was there anything in particular that you were curious about with him going into the opener, given that he had never played before? Yeah, you're always wanting to see how he does early, you know, how he handles being in that situation, uh, being in that stadium and that limelight. Um, and I thought he did a nice job. T was saying that in the spring, JT was here quite a bit in the film room doing all that, even like doing his homework up in the football offices. What was that, you know, period like before he was actually officially on the team, finishing up his high school course? Yeah, I, I've never seen a high school quarterback work as hard while he's not even here as he did, uh, which I think is what let him be get his get good as quick as he did. And, uh, you know, he, he had a great off season, and, you know, I think it showed in fall camp, and that's why he's our quarterback. The decision to get here early, I mean, a year early, have you, have you seen anything like that before, been around a guy? I have not. I've never been a part of somebody that skipped a whole year. And, you know, I've only heard of it done one other time, which happened to be another USC quarterback. So, no, I've, I've never been around it. Uh, I'm, I'm glad he's here, and uh, I think he's going to have a good career. Do you remember what your initial reaction was to finding out that he was going to go through that process? Well, we, we kind of found, found out through a you know it wasn't like oh one day it just came about you know it kind of at first it started off as a conversation and then as it grew you know you kind of started to say hey man this could this could actually happen so it wasn't like one day we woke up and it happened so it, it wasn't that big of a shock because it was a gradual deal and uh, but we're glad he's here were there any uh, throws in particular any plays that you can point to that you felt like okay that's that I didn't expect that to happen uh, I, no, I, I, I expected him to make those throws. You know, I, not to down the game or down the kid, but there was a couple of bad plays that we made that I didn't expect to happen, um, you know, which is what we need to get corrected. Uh, you know, what, what he did on Saturday is what we've seen all fall camp. You know, he's a really talented kid, and uh, he is a freshman. He is an 18-year-old kid, and he, he's going to make some mistakes, and we're going to have to live with that and get better. But, you know, I thought for the first day it was, it was good. And, uh, you know, the corrections have been made. And we'll see on Saturday if, if he's taken to them. What did you make of the sequence when there was a, a sack fumble briefly and then the review came and then I think it started long and then he goes downfield and converts it? What did you think about well, that? Well, that, that's, you know, that's what's been, you know, Bruce had asked me earlier what, what was so impressive about him was his poise. You know, that's – that's part of playing quarterback. Bad stuff's going to happen. You're going to throw an interception. You're going to get sacked. You know, you're going to make a mistake. It, it, every game, something bad is going to happen. And you got to forget about it. And, and that's what he, the kid, has no conscience. He doesn't remember good or bad, which is how you got to play a quarterback. And he bounced back and made a throw that, that he should have thrown to a wide open guy. And, you know, good for us. Did you expect JT to throw as much as he did on Saturday? Uh, you know, I thought we were about 50-50. You know, we ran the ball a little more. Uh, you know, they, I mean, they had eight or nine guys in the box. You know, I don't care who you play. If they stack the box like that, you got to throw the football. And uh, that's what we did. And, and he executed for the most part. And, uh, you know, it, that, no, I wouldn't say that was the game plan. But, you know, we had to make an adjustment to, to all the guys being in the box. And, you know, that adjustment was throwing the ball over their head. You said on Tuesday that you had multiple game plans for JT based on how he played. What game plan did you end up using? Well, the, the passing one where, yeah, yeah. you know, when they're going to load the box and like I said, who doesn't matter who you play when they got that when they got an extra hat down there, there's not much you can do in the run game. And once we backed them off and once we hit a couple of those big plays, they backed up and you saw what we did in the run game. And that, that's every game. That's football. That's the way, you know, that's coaching. That's making adjustments. And that's what we did. And, and you know, fortunately for us, they worked. I know Clay Helton preaches run first, but with a guy like JT, do you wish that maybe it's passing more? 
uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna take what the defense gives us. Whatever whatever if they want to play one high, we're gonna try to throw the football. If they're gonna play two high, we're gonna try to run it. You know, I don't think we go into any game saying we're only gonna do one thing. We we try to be balanced. We want to be 50-50. But at the end of the day, the the goal of the game is to win, and we're gonna do whatever it takes to win the game. Last season, USC's quarterback coach was in the in the box. You're on the field. What's that like being on the field with JT? I love it, and that's that's the reason why I'm down there. I want I wanted to be with down with a young guy. You know, be honest. Probably if Sam would have come back, I probably would have still been in the box because you got an older guy. You know, you can you can see things. It takes the emotion out of the game up in the box. But I wanted to be down there to to help the kid, and uh, I felt like it went really well. I enjoy being on the field and you know interacting with the guys good or bad calming them down getting them going i enjoy that part of it so i missed it not being down and uh it was good but like i said i, I like i want to look at his eyes every every time he comes off the field see where he's at see what he sees and let's talk through it so what are some of the things that you told jt well early was you know we got to hit the easy ones you know as he came off we talk about the coverage we talk about the corners off or pressed and you know the decision making uh we we missed a couple run checks we got a couple wrong and you know we changed some protections that probably didn't need to be changed and you know causes us two sacks so those are the type of things that i like to be able to get to him immediately and uh you know we we talked about it we communicated hey if they you know and you know it was, it was a little hard they showed some things they hadn't shown on film you know they had a new d coordinator that was coming from a place that had elite level dbs that and we knew they probably weren't going to be able to do what they did in the back end at florida like they did at unlv so we knew they were going to do some things different but they had not shown a couple of those pressures and uh you know chalk it up to them they got us a couple of times but we adjusted we came back the next time and we slid the protection the right way we picked it up and we had a big play so that that's part of coaching that's the sideline adjustments and, and you know that's what we got to do each game how would you describe jt's demeanor each time he came off really good yeah. really, it was impressive um calm even when he threw the touchdown, you know, he just ran right by me and shook my hand and said, uh, "Nice, nice call, coach." So it was, it was, it was what I expected. Uh, you know, like I said, there was a plan for him freaking out. I didn't foresee that happening, but and he didn't. But there was a plan if something like that were to happen.